I am Alvin Glasgow, founder of the Glasgow Group. I'd like to discuss chin augmentation and the importance of position of the chin in facial aesthetics. As we can see in this patient, an appro attractive, appropriately shaped jawline is an essential part of facial harmony. And for the right patient, mentoplasty or augmentation of the chin and jawline may be the most advantageous, cost-effective, and easiest cosmetic surgical procedure to undergo. Ideally, the chin should project approximately to the level of the lip line, as shown here in before and after photos. When analyzing facial aesthetics, a receding chin or jawline may produce a number of negative features. These include overall facial imbalance, a less attractive lower lip, exaggeration of the nasal size, particularly on profile. In these photographs, you can see how much of an impact correction of the jawline has in improving facial appearance. Mentoplasty may be performed alone or in combination with other procedures, particularly rhinoplasty, as in this patient, where the most dramatic effect is the improvement in the appearance of the chin. This also shows the subtle improvement in the appearance of the lower lip when the chin is brought out to its proper position. I would like to show some other examples of mentoplasty, which will indicate the negative aspects of a receding chin, and the kinds of improvement mentoplasty can provide. In this patient, a receding chin not only detracts from the appearance of the lower lip, but can produce irregularities in the skin of the chin. This pitting effect, which resembles a peach pit, is seen in some cases, and can often be corrected with mentoplasty. And, of course, in this patient, we see a better profile alignment. Again, we see the negative effect on the lower lip and the jawline, which is improved with mentoplasty. A receding chin can exaggerate the jowls and make the face appear fuller. In this patient, the effect of mentoplasty improves the contour of the jawline. It makes the face look more angular, giving it a thinner appearance. When combined with submental liposuction, as we see here, it can eliminate the appearance of a double chin. In the appropriate patient, the combination of mentoplasty and submental liposuction can also improve the appearance of an aging neck while strengthening the jawline. Another example of the youthening effect on the jaw, neck, and lower face is shown in this patient following mentoplasty combined with submental liposuction. This combination has often been referred to as the weekend facelift because of the significant improvement in the lower face and the very brief recovery time without undergoing an actual facelift. This patient shows the significant improvement in the neck and the reduction in the appearance of the jowl. Mentoplasty is, a very, is very significant in men. A receding chin suggests weakness. A strong jawline suggests masculinity, as shown here. The change can be rather subtle, as we see in this individual, or have a more dramatic effect in a patient who has a more significant degree of chin recession. We have extensive experience in the use and design of facial implants. Our study performed for the Academy of Facial Plastic Surgery reviewed 500 of our patients and confirmed the long-term safety of facial implants. We've been involved with implant design and particularly fashioned the Glasgow wafer, which is used for interoperative custom contouring of the chin during mentoplasty.
Mentoplasty is a procedure which can be performed under local anesthesia in our credit or office operating suite. It takes approximately half an hour. When adding submental liposuction, it may take an additional 15 minutes of operating time. Patients that have surgery on a Thursday can usually be back to work on Monday. The procedure is very cost effective. For more information, please visit our website at www.glasgowgroup.com. Thank you for your attention.